Mosquito, and I want to show you guys today how a Bitcoin mixer works. A Bitcoin mixer is actually the best way to anonymize your Bitcoin. So if you bought Bitcoins on an exchange or you got them from somewhere else, it's actually pretty easy to trace them back to you. So there are statistics that say that 80% of all the Bitcoins that are in circulation right now can be traced back. So if you want to anonymize your Bitcoins, and the best way to do it would be a Bitcoin mixer. And how that works, that's what I want to show you guys today. So first of all, you have to pick Bitcoin here. You could also mix um, Dash and Litecoin. And we use BitMix um, for that because BitMix is actually, in my opinion, the biggest mixing service I know of, or probably the market leader worldwide. So it's pretty reliable and um, I only have good experience with it. So if you want to try to check it out, you can use the link down below in order to mix your Bitcoins. So we choose Bitcoin here and then we have like a very short interface that we could um, use to enter our information. So all we basically have to do is enter a destination address where we want to receive our Bitcoins. So let's say we want to uh, mix one Bitcoin and we have to type in a destination address here. And then the mixed Bitcoin will be sent to that address after it's done. You could also um, adjust the delay here. So for example, you could say 48 hours is a good time. So that basically means when you send your Bitcoins to BitMix, it takes 48 hours until you will receive your bit mixed Bitcoins back. And you have to know the longer it takes and the better it is. So it's harder to trace it back if the time is longer, if the time only would be like an hour or so, um, or instant, it's um, pretty easy to trace back. So if you have a high time frame, um, in between it's not that easy to trace the Bitcoins back to you. And you can um, adjust the service fee here. So a higher service fee basically means um, that they do more transactions with your Bitcoins. So it's harder to trace them back and it's actually way safer. So I would recommend uh, to use at least 2% um, service fee in order to mix your Bitcoins. So that basically means you lose 2% of value of your one Bitcoin if you would mix them. However, um, it's anonymized afterwards and you can, um, you can use them without anyone being able to trace them back to you. And I also have to recommend here that you use a destination address that you haven't used before. So just open a new wallet or buy a new ledger or anything um, with a new Bitcoin wallet with an address that you haven't used before. And here you can also enter un a unique code. And that basically means if you did, um, if you mix something before, you will get a unique code and that is just a way to make sure that you won't receive any Bitcoins that you previously mixed. So let's assume I'm mixing the second time and then I could enter a unique code that I will receive when I mix the first time. And that just make sure that I won't receive any of the Bitcoins I mixed previously. And you can also check here to randomize fee and transaction count. So they will do a randomized number of transactions and they will pay different fees for different transactions. And that's basically it. And then you can click start mixing. And the next thing you know is you will receive an address where you can send your Bitcoin to. And after here 47 hours, um, you will receive them back to your destination address here. So that's basically it. If you have any questions, feel free to use the comments down below. And if you like the video, please feel free to subscribe and hit that thumbs up. Thanks, guys.